Right Reverend Stephen Ameyu, I'm pleased to inform you that the Holy Father, Pope Francis, has appointed you to become the new Bishop of the Diocese of Torito. In this regard, you are required to write a short letter addressed to the Holy Father by which you express to him your acceptance, gratitude for the trust he has put in you, and a readiness to continue obeying him as you fulfill the important mission he has entrusted to you. While congratulating you on this appointment and assuring you of my prayers, I remain you as sincerely Monsignor Mark Kadima, Pope's representative in South Sudan. So you know. And yesterday I went to the president to tell him this news. I went there. He was, he was also very pleased. So we, out of protocol, we informed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of what the Pope has done. So this letter is going there because, you see, we send it at 2 o'clock, not before 2 o'clock, because the announcement is at midday in Rome and here is 2 o'clock. So the letter is going after 2 o'clock. Now, my job is actually ended now. And uh, I am the, the master of ceremonies, who is the rector himself, can now... Thank you very much. But before we give our words of thanks to the Monsignor, we would like to ask Father Stephen, in presence of this seminary community, to say a word and to express your sentiments of acceptance to the request of the Holy Father. Monsignor Kadima, the Vatican Ambassador in South Sudan, Reverend Father John Lobuka, Director of the St. Paul's Major Seminary, dear staff, dear seminarians, and dear brothers and sisters, lightning has struck in me. It is a speed of lightning. Today, I formally accept the appointment of His Holiness Pope Francis. In the first place, I thank Almighty God, His Holiness Pope Francis, Monsignor Mark, bishops of both Sudan and South Sudan, the faithful and the seminary, the seminary community for their prayers. I have accepted this task for the following reasons. For obedience, for solidarity with my dear priests and the faithful of Tori Diocese, and to participate actively in a new task of evangelization of the world as proposed by Popes Francis and Benedict XVI. I have accepted to be a bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Torit to show my obedience to Christ and to the Vicar of Christ, and it is a heavy cross, but I am always convinced that Christ is often with us until the end of time. It is not easy to be a sign of Christ's presence among the people of God in Tori Diocese. But with the abundant graces of Christ, what he has started just here, he will accomplish it in the, in the, in the, in the days or the, in the years to come. I have partly accepted it for my dear priests of Tori Diocese. It is together 
with them that we can represent Christ who is a shepherd and a bishop of our souls, as St. Peter says. We will build our communion and presbytery together and we will care for one another so that we can serve the poor people uh, in this wounded church, church in Torit. We have to be aware that in the person of the bishops whom the priests assist, there is present in the midst of the believers the Lord Jesus Christ, the Supreme Pontiff. Our essential role is to make Christ present as priest. Let us represent the gentle Christ, the kind Christ, who takes care of his sheep. As the letter, Saint, as the letter to the Hebrews says, let us remember our leaders who spoke to us the word of God, especially Bishop Pari de Taban, our late Bishop Akio, Johnson Akio, and Monsignor Thomas Olega, we thank them for what they have done for the church. For without them, the church of Torit would have not reached this time. Finally, it is, all to, it, it is to all of us the task of the new evangelization proposed by Pope Francis and Pope Benedict. This, this, uh, this must rely on the agents. Again here, we must first ask, who are the agents? The agents of pastoral work are the bishops, are the priests, are the brothers, are the nuns, the catechists, the lay people, and, and many, many other people. To secure the success of the evangelization, we must have a strong foundations. And these foundations are many. But it's important that the agents must be empowered, cared, maintained continuously so that they can deliver properly the task given them. Above all, I will work for the true peace, dialogue, justice, and reconciliation with those who are interested in our country. May Mary, our mother, and the mother of the church, intercede and care for us as we share, as we as see cared for Christ Jesus, the eternal word made flesh. Thank you for listening. Very Reverend Monsignor Kadima, truly how beautiful are the feet of him who brings good tidings. Thank you for coming to us with these good tidings. The people of God in Torit, and in fact all of us, have waited for too long and with great expectation for the appointment of a bishop who will shepherd the people of God in that diocese. This is the day which was willed by God. We can just imagine the joy that fills our hearts and the hearts of all who hear these good tidings today. Understand this message is simultaneously being announced all over the country and in particular way in the diocese of Turin. Moreover, how can we not be more joyful that the choice of the bishop has fallen on one of us in the person of the new Monsignor Stephen Ameu? We thank God for this benevolent choice of a man so gentle and highly esteemed by us. 
We thank you, Monsignor Kadima. And through you, we send our sincere thanks to the Holy Father and to his collaborators who deemed it worthy to look again at St. Paul's Major Seminary for the choice of a bishop, a bishop for the Diocese of Tori. God bless the Pope. God bless you, Monsignor Kadima. God bless you, Bishop-elect Stephen Ameyo. God bless St. Paul's Major Seminary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good. Now, perhaps we will have, a, as we sing the song of St. Paul, we can have a, few, a short ceremony of the brother priests congratulating Monsignor Kadima and all of you, and then afterwards, Monsignor will give us the blessing. St. Paul's here. You can give them. Before I finish, I would like to congratulate the director, the staff, and the seminarians for forming a bishop. You know, this is a, and bishops, because I understand this is the second time in, a, in two, eh? two years time that we come for a bishop here, and I hope it will not be the last. I assure you that it will not be the last. We shall come back again. <laughs> And uh, I know the, the question among you is, uh, Torit is now done, how about the others? Yes. You know, I can assure you that a, a good job is being done. It's, uh, we, we, are, uh, we are well ahead in uh, uh, the diocese, the others, particularly uh, Rumbek, uh, Malakal, and uh, wow, so we are working, and uh, as hard as we can, we should be able to get bishops for those. So there is hope, 
continue praying and continue showing the reinforcing spirit uh, which has uh, enabled uh, Bishop Ameyu to, to show his qualities, his virtues, and uh, exemplariness, and to merit this. So the same qualities, I'm sure they are here, and with that, we shall have more bishops. So I hope we can be quick, as quickly as possible, to get more bishops. Uh, if we, who knows, from here again, no problem. So I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we also recognize the presence of uh, Father Abu, Charles Abu, the Secretary for the Bishops of South Sudan, and Father Samuel Abe, the Secretary of the Archdiocese of Juba. Thank you all for coming, and a very good afternoon to all of you. Thank 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 you.